enforcement agencies are already preparing for next year's legalization of recreational marijuana and its possible effects on Oregon's roads. NBC5's Cassie Nelson is live at the Medford Police Department with how officers plan to protect people on the roads. Cassie? I talked with one Medford patrol lieutenant who says he expects patrols to be even busier on the roads with people driving under the influence of marijuana. But they have officers who have undergone extensive training to recognize if someone is high. Oregonians are following the lead of Washington and Colorado by legalizing recreational marijuana for adults 21 and up. And police are prepping. I do believe we're going to be busier because of it as far as the uh, individuals and driving impaired. Medford Patrol Lieutenant Curtis Whipple says he's concerned with people getting high and then getting behind the wheel. I, I cannot see that Measure 91 passing is going to have a positive impact on law enforcement. But Whipple says with over 100 officers trained to look out for impaired drivers and seven drug recognition experts, smokers should be aware. The officer um, believes that they are DUI, they will be arrested. Whipple was a DRE for seven years. It's the best job in the world. He says they're the drug experts, extensively trained to recognize if someone is under the influence of anything, from alcohol to prescription drugs to marijuana. If you get pulled over, officers will conduct a series of tests. I want you to follow the tip of my pen with your eyes and your eyes only. The horizontal gaze nystagmus. Forward, counting out loud. The walk and turn. And the one leg stand. Sometimes you go into bars you know, in the past, you'll see people actually trying to perform these tests. But Whipple says no MPD officer is easily fooled. And with their extensive training, DREs have more tools at their disposal. Other batteries of tests is also given. And those include like blood pressure, pulse, uh, more eye examinations. And although marijuana will soon be legal, Whipple says they don't plan on upping their patrols, but they will continue to advance the training of their officers. Lieutenant Whipple says along with Medford's seven DREs, there are also seven others throughout the county, and there's always at least one on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Live in Medford, Cassie Nelson, NBC5 News.